All right, here is where I'm going to go a little bit off the beaten track and just change things up a little bit. The Department of Basic Education would like us to first ask the questions that would guide our in investigation. And in an ideal world, that is how one would do it. If you do proper research at university level, that is definitely how you would do it. The problem is, if we do it now, then we end up with 20 different sources and we only need three. And we should only get three. So I'm going to swap things around and I want us to start with number five first, identifying different sources. So let's quickly discuss that first before you start doing your research. So the sources that you identify need to be of good quality as well as a variety of types. You need to have at least two websites and one other source. That other source can be a news article, even though it is online. It can be a magazine, a brochure, maybe a video, um, a, an expert interview or an expert um, published, uh, what does one call it, TED Talk. One of those would be excellent. Uh, public speaking uh, engagement, something like that would be wonderful as well. So uh, anything other than just a straightforward website would be great then. Okay, then let's just quickly talk about the validity and the credibility of the sources that you go and look for. So you will have to motivate why you chose the sources that you chose. You need to motivate that the people who wrote the article or the institution who commissioned the article actually knows their business. So it can't just be a nobody like somebody's blog who just gives their opinion on something. It has to be somebody who knows their business. It can be, it can be an article in a magazine. It can be uh, any, it doesn't have to be like a Harvard University academic article or anything like that. But the publisher or the people who wrote it has to be respected journalists or people who are specialists in that specific topic so like they're trained in that topic or they're specialists in that field all right currency is extremely important so the article has to be recent it can't the information can't be outdated i would say try to aim for information that has been written in 2019 this year or last year and at the absolute most if it's really an excellent source 2017 but no later than that it has to correspond with information with other sources out there. It can't just be the only information that says this is the way things are. And um, it should have a balanced view. It can't have a radical view that says, oh, it's, it's difficult to give you an example now, but basically it can't just give one side of the information. It has to have a balanced view saying the good and the bad. All right. And then lastly, um, you need to, because you're only allowed to have three sources, you have to get sources that covers the material quite extensively so that you'll be able to answer quite a few questions out of one single source. So keep these things in mind when you go do your actual research. Okay, so now that you know the things you need to look out for when you research and the type of sources that you need to, do, to get, you need to go and do research and find three good sources that contain all the information that you need. So what I mean by that, it, cont it adheres to the requirements of good sources in terms of the criteria over here. It is a variety of sources and it has the variety of information in terms of these basic three areas as well. Okay, so you have these re this research that you've done over here and it's open in a browser. Okay, so what you need to do now is um, you need to make the question and sources table. Now, I'm not very fond of the way they've done it over here. It actually works easier for me to split it into two tables. So to make it easier for you, I've given you um, templates that you can use to just copy and paste. You don't have to redo everything. 
So um, at our school, it's in the public folder. Um, on, on the YouTube videos, you can just see there's a link in the description box. And you can go to a folder there, and there's a English and an Afrikaans one that you can open. So you can open that up and just copy those tables. And go and paste that in your report under Appendices, Addendum B. You'll have to use the destination theme and not plain text, otherwise it won't keep the tables, eh? Alright, now um, I suggest that you actually put a page break over here, but um, not actually just a regular page break, since the appendices later at a later stage will have to have a new kind of page number different to the rest of the report we need to put a next page section break in this instance over there just so that's on a separate page than all the rest of the headings okay so the question table we'll do a bit later what we're going to do now is we're going to fill in the source tables for source 1, source 2, and source 3. Firstly, depending on the font that you've chosen, you might need to adjust these tables just a little bit for everything to fit nicely. Please make sure that your tables um, all look the same, and um, it would be good to just format them a little bit, especially because their headings have to stand out. So I suggest using these table styles that's built in already, predefined, so um, it's quite nice to use one of these, maybe something like that. I always love using these, they look lovely. And use the same one for all your tables, please. Including the one for your questions as well. And then I think these sources, if we just quickly look at that, this, let's just see, was a heading 2. So source 1, source 2, and source 3 will then be heading 3, hey? You have to keep your levels in mind. Um, a good way to check that you're on the right track is to use your view and switch on your navigation pane and to check that your levels are correct and logical. So um, all the headings under task definition must be heading 2, so they're indented like that. And appendices, addendums, are all heading two, and then sources that are under addendum B, so subheadings, are then a heading three style.